Cruise into the studio. Yeah, what's up? Let's check it out. This is a 30 day notice terminating your tenancy at downtown rehearsal. This is an eviction notice. 30 days, you will be terminated. What the fuck? Damn, I guess we gotta move out. I guess we're on the move. It's mostly because of the parties. Mm. We survive. We rocking out, we rocking out the release party. <laughs> But yeah, man, to be honest, like, I don't know, this shit sucks. Stop focus on the bad things. We're fucking winners, dog. We are winners. Today, we are going to focus on the Born Winner album and, uh, yeah, continuing to have this album in a rollout process. 21 days left of the Kickstarter right now for the, for the album funding. Um, that amount of time is very short, so... You know, we are 26% the way there, 13, 22, and we're trying to get to five grand for the minimum. Uh, so I guess, I guess I just got to keep hustling and, and, you know, telling everybody about it. You know, I just got to spread the word a little bit harder. As everybody that is members of this community, you guys are all helping me put this album together, which is amazing. Um, we just put out the album cover shoot. I just put this out yesterday. So uh, my bro Ethan that is helping with the visuals as well. He shot, you know, a ton of different photos for the album cover. You know what I'm saying? And we basically, I just was like, I don't know which one's the fucking best. Like, Loki, this was kind of my favorite. Yeah, it's a little sneak peek. Loki, that was kind of my favorite. I'm not going to lie. Christine is saying 07525. Let's see which one that is. Zero, so, oh yeah. That's an interesting, I see, that's pretty good. I like that one. That's like a win, it's like winning, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, I can imagine like the, the letters above it and stuff, you know? Yeah. Appreciate Dylan and Christine for their time and uh, in helping decide that. Anyways, for the project, the voting poll just ended two days ago. If you didn't pay for the demos, you can't listen to the album because the voting poll is ended. These are the final results. The Crown, me vs. Me is number two, Not Accepting This Defeat is number three, Grow is number four, and five and six, and actually seven now are all tied. We're Fight For What You Love, Nothing To Lose, and Training Day. Which, that Training Day is biased because I voted for Training Day too. I'm really happy I got them involved because it made me like better understand songs that like I didn't even think had that much potential that are actually become the favorites. Brown and Grow. I was totally sleeping on the songs. I wasn't even gonna have Grow on the album or The Crown. I was debating on having The Crown as well and that one defeated all of them by like times two. My final decision for what I think is the right way to do this because of all the songs that are the most popular and stuff, they'll be getting music videos and then these other songs, they'll just get visualizers or whatever, just something yeah. simple, um, but I haven't been putting stuff, music out since last November. I want to really hit the algorithm, so I think the smartest way to do it is, you know, the fans and people supporting the album, they already are going to have the album, the mastered album, that's going to be theirs to listen to. But for everybody else, they're just going to get an album or a song a week until the album's finished, and it'll all end up creating an album at the end of this 10-week period. So, uh, Jonathan, is he's been very helpful in, in uh, this project so far and just giving feedback on all the songs and stuff so yeah well first off congratulations on your second fucking um, studio album bro uh, yeah dude when, when you sent me the when you sent me the tracks I didn't know I didn't really know what to expect especially because of the, the title uh, born a winner yeah so I was like I was like what, what is this gonna be about and then and then I heard the first track and then came out with like a little bit of a, uh, you have, you definitely had like, um, like some attitude. When I first originally heard the album, it was uh, me versus me on the, on the intro. And I was like, oh, this is, this is, he's gonna come in with some attitude. And then the more I listened to it, the more I'm like, bro, this is like, this is great. Like it, it's, 
it's something that not a lot of people are doing right now because everyone's like with that like depressed stuff, like emo stuff, and and it was it was it was something refreshing for sure. And, uh, and yeah, bro, it was, it was great. It just right? makes you it makes you feel it makes you feel good. Like you just feel happy as fuck. Yeah, it makes you feel good. It makes you like it, it pumps you up. Like yeah, I like I I enjoyed the album a lot. Like everybody that I shared the album to, like they they all enjoyed it. Um, I had some homies that knew about you. I mean, like back in the day, because we, we we go back like pretty far, and um, I've. I've met like they know about you and they've heard your old stuff. So when I told A, um, Kenny Good Kenneth Goodrich is just is about to drop an album, here give it a listen and they're like, This is him? Like they're 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 like surprised, they're like, damn, this is crazy. This is this is a lot different than, than what That's like, fire, like, man, that's yeah. fire. I really I really am grateful for you, man, for supporting the album. Like it really means a lot to me. Peace right, out, bro. brother. Later. Yeah, I met, so I met her on, uh, uh, I was on Melrose selling my CDs, or my last album, I was on, and, and I, she was with all her friends, you, would, you came over here for like just visiting the US, right? Yeah. 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 So it was pretty cool, like yeah, I, I gave her the new album and stuff like that, and, uh, and yeah, we've just stayed connected ever since. And she keeps saying, when are you coming out to France, when are you going to come out here? And, yeah. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it out there, but I just have to get enough I just have to get enough fans and support in France to be able to make the trip and make it uh, you know financially make sense. So that's the thing. So I gotta hustle harder in France. You gotta help me. You gotta help push it, push the room here. Hell yeah. All right, bye. Kickstarter ends on this day. Drop the song. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Uh, we're meeting with Ethan today. We're gonna see if we can get some visuals by then for it. Uh, this is supposed to be the hit single. This is what we're thinking. This is gonna be the hit single. If everybody's hyping this song, uh, uh, and this song as well. This one was actually my favorite song. Bet your bottom dollar. I know it's hard to read by handwriting. I don't blame me. I can't. But not accepting this defeat and me versus me are supposed to be some of the biggest songs on the project, along with Grow and The Crown. These are all getting the most love. Everybody's saying different shit, but those, I, those, I, those seem like they are getting the most, the most. So we'll see, man. I'm excited. My name's Ethan. I guess I'm the creative director for this album. So I'm planning out the visuals for the album, so they're all in the same world. And, um, uh, yeah, so like the cover art and music videos are all kind of like, cooked. yeah, he, he, because of Ethan, we got a dirt bike in the cover art. I was always like, no dirt bike because that was my past. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't want to be like the deal with the dirt bike and shit. He's like, dude, that'll be hard. Get the fucking bike. <laughs> it was wild. But, anyways, yeah, he's helping out with all that. So, yeah, photo and video is what I did. So, yeah. But yeah, anyways, uh, we're about to do it. We're about to do some creative, uh, clever empire production oh, yeah. lessons. This man is leveling up his creativity. We are. Congratulations on being a fucking dope ass producer. Already been, you know. This dude's dope ass producer already. He's doing his shit. I, I was impressed the last time he showed me oh, shit. Yeah. Kyle, artist name Aortix. About to take over the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, man, we about, to, we about to get into this shit. Until next time, thanks for supporting the Born Winner vision.